In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can use Divi Woo modules to create our custom product page layout. So with that, we can customize each and every element of our product page. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. Now, if in case you want to learn more and deep dive into this topic, then we have created a complete blog post that you can find in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how we can create our custom product page template and use Woo modules to design that complete template. So here we are inside our WordPress backend and here we have already installed WooCommerce. We have already added some of our products. So these are just sample products here. And this is how our default product page looks like. So let's see how we can create a custom template where we can use Woo module to design this entire page. So for that, we need to come back here in our WordPress backend. And the first thing that we need to do is go to Divi and then click on theme builder. And here we can see we already have a custom header template build up. And now we need to build a new template. So we click on add new template. And we are going to build it from scratch. So we are going to click on build new template. And then we need to select what type of template we want to create. So from this list, we are going to select our product page. And if you scroll down here, we have the WooCommerce pages. And just below that, we have product section. And we are going to select all products from here. Once that is done, let's click on create template. And just like our base template, we already have a header template here. And for now, I'm just going to hide my footer. And all we need to customize is the main body or the custom body of our template. So in order to build the custom body section of this template, we need to click on this option here. And then we are going to click on build custom body. Or if we already have a template, we can choose add from library. So right now we are going to build it from scratch. So we choose build custom body. And now we are inside the DB5 visual builder and we have the three conventional methods like building from scratch, pre-made layout or build with AI. So if we close this box and now we have a blank slate to play around with. So let's start by adding a two column layout like this. And on the left hand side, we can add our WooCommerce product image. So we are going to search for image. And here you can see two modules. We have the normal image that we use to upload image from our media library. Along with that, we also have a Woo product image block. So if we select this, it's going to add the product image right here. Now, if we take a look at the right hand side settings, we have the content part. So right now it is selected on this product. We can go ahead and change it to see all the different variations. So if I select any product from this list, it's going to fetch the image of that product. And below that we have elements. So here we can show the product image. We have an option to show gallery. And we also have an option to show the sale badge. Now, if you come back here on the right hand side column, we are going to add a new block here and we are going to search for Woo. And this is going to show you all the WooCommerce blocks that we have. So here is our Woo product title. Let's select that. And it's going to fetch the title of our product. So right now it is set on this product. So that's why we do not see anything here. And along with that, if you want to add a link, we can do that from here. But on the product page, we don't want any link. So we will keep it as it is. But of course, we can select this and we can go to design to customize the look and feel of this product title. So we can choose H1 and we can also choose the font and we can also change the weight and we can also change the font size from here. And now below this, we can add another block and we are again going to search for Woo. And we are going to select product short description here. So if we scroll down here, Woo product description. So let's select that. And here we are going to select the description type as short description. We can also select description, which is the main product description box. So right now it is set on short description and that's what we want. Now below this, we can add another block and we are going to select price. So it's Woo price block we need to add. So let's select that. And once again, we can go to design and then customize the look and feel of this. So maybe something like this 
or maybe we can make it bold. And after this, we can add a WooCommerce add to cart button. So here is Woo product add to cart. Let's select that. And we are again going to keep it as this product so that it will only work for this specific product only. And once that is done, we can click on another plus icon here to add a maybe metadata. So we have Woo product meta and this is going to add the metadata information for that product. Now, once that section is done, we can now add another section at the bottom and we will select single column and we are going to select the product description block again. And this time we are going to choose product description type as main description. Now below this, we can also add another block and we are going to select related products. So let's select Woo related products and it's going to fetch any related product if we have selected in the back end. And of course, we can go ahead and customize all the settings from the right hand side panel. So let's say we want to choose all categories or maybe current category or maybe you want to add any specific product from any other category. We can do that from here. So with that, we can also go ahead and add other WooCommerce modules and create our complete product page. So maybe we want to add a Woo product review so you can do that from here. Or if you want to add another module like maybe breadcrumbs that you want to add on the top so you can do that from here. And there are a lot of options that you can play around with. And once again, we have explained everything in our blog post. So do check that out in the video description below. So let me just go ahead and select this product image here. And instead of selecting a particular product, I'm going to select this product only. And now once we are satisfied with our design, once we have customized all the color schemes and font sizes, we can just go ahead and click on save, then click on exit. And now we need to click on save changes here again so that we can save our custom template. Now, if you go ahead and refresh this page again, so we have just replaced the old product page design with our custom built template. And here we can see all our related products showing at the bottom. So this is how you can use WooCommerce modules in Divi 5 to create any kind of product layout as you wish. And once again, if you want to learn more about all these modules, do check out our blog post that I'm going to link in the video description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.